हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक मल्टीपल सब स्क्रीन एज ए पार्ट ऑफ मॉड्यूल पुल प्रोग्रामिंग एंड सो फार वी क्रिएटेड वन नॉर्मल स्क्रीन टू सब स्क्रीन वी डिजाइन द ले आउट फॉर यस ऑल द नॉर्मल स्क्रीन एंड सब स्क्रीन यस वी क्रिएटेड द ट्रांसेक्शन now we will move on to logic part in this particular video suppose i am running this module pool program i will go to execute i will go for new window so that this session will remain as it is now you can see we have order number header details item details as of now sub screen area is not coming because we have not done anything with that particular part as of now now whenever i will click on to header details button or item details button as of now we are concentrating on logic part yes if i will click on to header details button or item details button you all know you are performing action on the screen whenever you are performing action on the screen which event will call pai process after input of the screen it means in pai i will write the logic to fetch data from header table and item table after writing the logic then we will come on to the part yes how this how header details will display in the sub screen area how item details will display in the sub same same sub screen area because we have single sub screen area that part we will cover after writing the logic but in pai of 100 screen we will write the logic to fetch data from header table and item table we will do this part now i will go to 100 screen you all know we need to we are writing the logic in pai so we need to go to flow logic tab of the screen i will uncomment the module which is a part of pai i will double click yes i will go to new include now i will write the logic you all know very very well how to write the queries but here in this video you will get very few i'll say extra i you will say i will say extra knowledge in what sense because we took the variables name in the layout starting with lv previously you have table name hyphen column name now we are using the variables concept starting with lv so you will get some extra knowledge here yes so i will write the first query select from the header table we are fetching the data of how many column five column so i will write order number order date payment mode total amount currency i am fetching from which table order header table we will store into internal table into table what is the name of internal table we declared lt underscore data where order number is equal to now this is the additional knowledge here in the previous videos your layout in the layout your name of the field is table name hyphen column name but if you go to 100 screen now 
Now we are not using table name hyphen column name. We are going for LV underscore O N O. So if I will go to layout, that's why I told you can give any name, but same thing needs to be used in the coding. If I will double click, rather than table name hyphen column name, what we gave LV underscore O N O. So I will simply, simply use LV underscore O N O. So I will use in the where condition LV underscore O N O. If I am giving one O N O is equal to one, it will fetch data from this table for this five column and data will come into this internal table. Now we will simply, simply go for if. Yes, first internal table is not initial. I will wait. Or you can check for size sub RC also. It is totally your wish. Because whenever you are fetching data from foreign key table or dependent table, we should always, always go for not initial condition. Select. From the second table, how many columns you want to fetch? Four column. So I will write O N O O I N order description item cost from which table now? Order item table. Z O R D I underscore 28. Now we will store into second internal table. Now what is the keyword which we need to use now? For all entries in what is the first internal table? LT underscore data. And what is the where condition for the second table? Where O N O is equal to first internal table O N O. And this LT data one, this internal table, you bind it with table control, table control. It means whatever is coming into the internal table, it will display in the table control. Now, we fetched the data from order header table and our data is in this internal table. If you see, we need to bind that data. We need to bind that data. If you see, with order date, payment mode, total amount, currency, how, how we will do that particular part. We all know very well and it is covered so many times whenever you are giving a order number. See, we are giving a single input of order number. So we are fetching data from order header table based upon order number. It means if you give any order number, always, always we will get a single record, always single record. So if you are sure that you are getting a single matching record rather than loop, you can go for read table, always, always. So I will simply write read table. Read table. What is internal table? LT data into what is work area? LWA data. We all know we have always one record in the internal table. So I can write index one because we all know we have always one record in the first internal table. So it is always on the first index. Never forgot to write size sub RC equal to zero after every read statement. Now, 
our data is in work area work area how i will bind with the screen fields screen output fields if you remember previously you pass that data do you have written table name hyphen column name table name hyphen column name because that was the name in the layouts itself but if we will see our current scenario in our current scenario what we did rather than table name hyphen column name we are using lv lv underscore because we now we gave our own variable names so rather than using table name hyphen column name now we will go for lv underscore so i will write there is no difference it's just a totally understanding whatever you are giving in the layout same thing you need to use lwa data o date order date payment mode total amount currency order date payment mode total amount currency control d is the shortcut to duplicate a line so i use that so from the work area we are passing it to screen output fields total amount and just wait i think system is slow now we have currency now you all know whenever i will check the syntax i will get five syntax error why because we need to declare these variables variables so i will declare these five variables if i will check the syntax you know i am getting these five errors so i will declare these five variables do not go for name mismatch whatever you are using in the layout same thing needs to be used in the coding so i will declare five variables lv underscore o n o type data element of order number this is our input and four are out what is the second variable we took in the layout order date payment mode total amount and next one is currency order date i will pass the data element of order date so it is totally your wish how you want to go many times people are comfortable by using their own variable names but if you want to go for table name hyphen column name also can go for that is totally your wish this is our total amount and this is our currency i'll check the syntax now there is no syntax error i will go to display mode and now i will activate the full program so what is the summary of the video in this video we covered that whenever you are going for any action on the screen it is header or item any action always which particular event will call pai of 100 so in pai of 100 we have written the logic to fetch data from header table item table but do not go for mismatch because you might have a practice to use table name hyphen column name always but in these videos we are going for different approach to take the core take the field names in the layout in the layout we used 
LVONO, LVO date, LVPM, LV underscore TA, LV underscore CUR. So you need to use same variable names in the coding also. Now, in the next video, we will see how in the subscreen area we will display header and we will display item. That part we will start from the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.